A tiger is not an easy animal to kill. It's one of the most agile wildcats. It's powerful, but considered at the top of the food chain. As much as tigers are known to prey on swift, small animals, things change when these animals become scarce, as tigers are forced to cross boundaries in their search for a meal, which may or may not work in their favor. They may not be the strongest, but they are definitely up there. Because of this reason, not many animals are brave, powerful, or tactful enough to take down a tiger. Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Forever Green. In this video, we are going to showcase the 10 animals that can actually kill a tiger. And you should stick around for number one, as you can be sure neither of these animals have an easy time killing a tiger. Grab a bucket of popcorn as we head to fill in on what happens when the prey becomes the predator and the hunter, the hunted. Number 10, Gore. Gore, also known as Indian bison, is a type of wild cattle that is commonly found in the mountain forests of India. It is also the largest wild cattle in the world. They look like water buffaloes, but they are far much worse than water buffaloes. Their large, heavy bodies, curved horns, and their massive aggression is all it takes for them to take down a tiger. When Gore gets into a conflict with a tiger, you can be sure that the tiger will not be the shining star. They mean business, and especially when it comes to protecting their young ones. In such cases, gores usually make a circle with their backs facing each other, and their heads face their opponent. Their calves are safe in the middle. The gores will snort, toss their horns, and even charge towards the tiger. It is widely known as the tiger killer because the number of tigers killed by gore is higher than the number of gores killed by tigers. As early as 1934, it had already been determined that gores are powerful enough to kill a tiger. This report came after a dead tigress was found near gore. It was evident enough that the two were fresh from a fight that led to the unfortunate death of the tigress. In 2016, a tigress named Ma was found dead in the Navagon Nagriza Tiger Reserve, NNTR. The deep cut on her hindside was believed to have been caused by a gore it had gotten into a fight with. She was found in the morning by the officials and tourists near Nagriza Lake. She was in deep pain at the time and she succumbed later in the day. Pop quiz, if you put these four in a cage, who would come out alive? Go ahead and leave us your answer in the comments below. We'll wait. Number 9. Crocodile We all know that confrontations between a tiger and crocodile happen once in a blue moon. But we also know that the crocodile is the king of the deep waters. It will not hesitate to attack and prey on any animal that is within or close to the waters it calls home. It is no match for most animals, since it is well equipped with a tough skin that even sharp teeth can't go through, and a wide mouth that can fit and handle almost anything. They are known for their ambush attacks. They rarely miss their prey owing to the fact that they have a large wide mouth, sharp teeth, and a superior bite force that could potentially turn any animal, both big and small, into a meal within a blink of an eye. Once it slams its mouth on a prey or threat, that's it. Only one tiger named Mockley was able to kill a crocodile. Not one, but three. In some Barbans Island, India, a tiger was found dead near the banks of the lake. At first, the rangers thought that it had been killed by poachers, but upon further investigations, they found that the key organs that poachers go after were still intact. It was only after a post-mortem examination that it was revealed that the poor tiger had succumbed to crocodile bites. It was suspected that the unfortunate happened during the high tides. The crocodile bite was so intense that it dislocated and ripped the femur and hind leg from the tiger's body. The tiger was also found to have more than 25 other teeth marks all around its body leading to its death. There was no sight of any crocodile, 
so it was concluded that the said crocodile went back to the water after the tides receded. Or, what do you think was the cause? Let us know in the comments section below. Before we move on, here's a quick challenge for you. If you can leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and turn on the notifications in less than 5 seconds, you will have 10 years of amazing luck. Hurry up and try it, it actually works. Number 8. Bear If there is any animal that is good at leaving the solo life, it has to be the bear. Regardless of the species, bears are known to live a solitary life with the exception of mothers with cubs. These omnivores are known to have incredible sense of smell. They can smell their foes and food from miles away. Bears are so heavily built that they have sometimes remained composed even after being shot by a gun. Bears are known to take down their opponents with just one swipe of their humongous paws and claws. These paws are heavy enough to seriously injure a tiger. If this is not convincing enough, in February 2010, during a routine checkup on the whereabout of the tigers at Silkot Alin Biosphere Reserve, something very alarming happened. The GPS collar of a tiger named Anya had switched to mortality mode. Six days later, a team of tiger project specialists was dispatched to locate the tiger in the jungle. They were hoping that Anya's collar had gotten lost, but their hopes were crushed when they found that the one and a half years old tiger had been killed and eaten by a bear. It must have been very devastating. When tigers and bears were put against each other, bears won 22 cases, while tigers succeeded in 12 cases only. When tigers and bears get into a fight, a tiger will use most of its energy during the first few minutes. Bears, on the other hand, possess a thick layer of fat and fur that helps them to take in the punches and claws. This causes the tiger to get tired very quickly, and when the bear finally fights back, it's game over for the tiger. Number 7. Lion The lion is not the king of the jungle for nothing. It is powerful enough to challenge almost any animal. It goes without saying that in the wild, conflicts are as rare as wings upon a cat. But when they do, only a few things matter. Who is more aggressive and who got the head start? Both of these cats are known to fiercely and fearlessly guard their territory. In a zoo in Jeonju, North Korea, a tigress died after it was badly injured by a lion. Sharongi the lion was after a chicken that the zookeeper had thrown to him, but had landed in the trench. This was five meters away from his yard into the tigress's territory. The tigress was quick to notice the presence of the lion and decided to do what she would do in the wild, attack. She jumped in the trench, but made a costly mistake. She had miscalculated her steps and she landed terribly in the trench. The lion then went ahead and attacked. He bit into her neck and Hobie the tigress died. Number 6. Dolls Now, this may come as a surprise because of their small size. But we all know most of these small animals have the tendency to challenge large animals. Such are doles. Doles are wild dogs, which are mainly found in the dense jungle or dry forests. They are the only canines that let out screams and clucking sounds, and they also do not care about dominance. It's not easy to identify the leader of a doles pack. At first glance, they look like half dog and half fox. They are known to devour one kilogram of meat in four seconds. If this doesn't sound like a warning, I don't know what will. They also regurgitate the meat to feed other members of the pack. It's disgusting and generous at the same time. 
They are willing to go through all that trouble so that another dole doesn't sleep hungry. We sure need more people to be as selfless as doles. They may be small, but they are fearless. Doles are known to attack tigers and bears in large numbers. It takes about 8 to 12 doles to take the life of a tiger. That's how they compensate for their small sizes, and it's without a doubt very efficient. They are the true definition of teamwork. These endangered wild dogs are so lethal that tigers hide in the trees and bushes to escape their wrath. Now, get these right. Doles don't hunt tigers for food. Their conflict arises from food scarcity. And all doles do is only rob the tigers off their meat and any tiger that tries to escape is killed. The trick to survive is to stay put, which you will agree with me is not practical at all. Number 5. Another Tiger I guess this is because they know each other's strengths in and out. They know where it hurts more and are able to tackle their opponent. It requires a lot of aggression to have one tiger kill another. They don't fight each other to kill, but sometimes the outcome can be a grotesque sight to see. They fight when they need to mark their territory or simply win a female over. When neither wants to lose a mate and embarrass itself in front of a tigress, things can turn sour real quick. Tigers are also killed by their female counterparts. In 2006, a white four-year-old tiger died in a zoo after suffering serious head injuries. The unfortunate tiger met his death after the zoo authorities tried to get him to mate with a tigress. However, things took a different turn and the two got into a ruthless fight that ended with the eight-year-old tigress inflicting fatal injuries on the tiger. In a different scenario in November 10, 1981, under the light of the full moon, a tigress killed a tiger in an attempt to protect her cub. The tigers had been nice to the tiger as they crossed each other's path. The cubs had resulted to hide, but quickly ran back to their mother within a few minutes. It is at this point the tiger decided to ambush and attack the cubs, but the tigers could not have any of it. Roars were heard as far as two kilometers away. The tigress pounced on the tiger and attacked him from the back, before inserting her sharp canines into the tiger's neck flesh, thereby killing him. Number 4. Water Buffaloes Buffaloes are well equipped with large, sharp, carved horns. This is probably their first line of defense. They are aggressive and will charge at any person and animal they feel threatened by. A wild water buffalo is very aggressive, a domesticated one, not so much. In a certain arena, a tiger was put to fight against a buffalo. A tiger's strategy is always to make good use of the first seconds. The first smacks and bites are everything they need to take down an opponent. This tiger tried to attack the buffalo from its shoulders, but before he could do so, the buffalo threw him to the ground and before he could get up, the buffalo slammed the tiger against the wall, not once, but several times. By the time the buffalo was done with him, the poor tiger could no longer defend himself. Two other tigers were brought to the arena to take down the same buffalo, but the two did not want to be under the mercy of the merciless buffalo. In July 2016, deep in the forests of Kazirenga National Park, a Royal Bengal Tiger was found dead. The Vets and Forest Department officials confirmed that the death of the tiger was as a result of injuries inflicted by a buffalo it had gotten into a fight with. Number 3. Indian Rhinoceros Indian rhinoceros boast of being very huge and are famous for their extreme aggression. Like elephants, rhinos in general lack natural predators due to their large size and tough skin. It takes persistence and a great set of skill to take down a rhino. They do not hesitate to charge on their threats. 
It doesn't matter whether it's an object or an animal. Their poor vision does not get in the way of their wrath. When they attack, they mean business. You can be sure it will not end well for their opponent. Besides their intimidating size, they boast of a strong horn that could potentially inflict serious injuries on a tiger. Because of these reasons, tigers have learnt not to prey on rhinos in general. Even if they are starving, it still isn't a good idea. In Kazaranga National Park, a rare, astonishing event occurred. A tiger and a rhino were both found dead with their bodies lying next to each other. No, it was not a case of poaching, because all the organs of the two wild animals were intact. It is believed that the two had gotten into a prolonged fight that led to their ultimate death. Number 2. Porcupine Porcupines are large rodents. They are mostly found in tropical and temperate areas and have a lifespan of about 5 to 6 years. They have small heads and chunky bodies. But don't let this fool you, as they may appear harmless and adorable, but they can leave you screaming and agonizing in pain within seconds. Their greatest line of defense is their coat, that is filled with over 30,000 sharp pointed spines. If you ask me, those right there are 30,000 reasons to back off. If not, then I don't know what is. A tiger in Periyar Tiger Reserve, India, learnt this a little too late. Tigers would normally not prey on porcupines. It's usually their last result. This tiger must have been really desperate. It was found dead with porcupine spines all over its body. When a porcupine releases its spines, you never know where they will land. This tiger's mouth was locked because one of the spines pierced its tongue and lower part of the jaw. I can't even begin to imagine how this must have felt. The pain must have been excruciating, that's for sure. As if that's not enough, the tiger's belly and legs were punctured. There's no way this tiger would have survived after these serious injuries. There's no doubt that this tiger died a slow, painful death. How horrifying. It must have really regretted preying on that porcupine. It's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber wondering about this mama elephant that appears to be stumping on a tiger, whilst trying to protect its calf. If you come across a mysterious photo online and want us to look into it, just send it over and we may even feature it on a future video. Now, we looked into this picture and are excited to reveal to you that it is indeed a photoshopped picture. However, there really does exist a humongous but calm and easygoing beast who could easily toss a tiger around like in a circus. And this takes us to our number one. Elephants. Elephants pride themselves in having almost no predators. They are usually the last resort to any starving animal. They spend over 15 hours a day eating leaves, roots, and fruits. You can be sure that they have the energy to deal with anything that disrupts their peace. The size of an adult elephant is quite intimidating. It takes some serious balls to attack an elephant. I mean, who would gladly want to challenge the world's largest land animal? Who? Their tusks are strong enough to dig up roots and take barks off trees. Now, imagine what they could do to their opponent. Over 150,000 muscle units found in an elephant's trunk make the trunk very sensitive, but powerful. It's not something you'd want to be slapped with. Cases of tigers attacking elephants are no news because they target the vulnerable elephant calf or team up to take on an adult elephant. Elephants come together to soothe a distressed elephant calf and they'll do the same when threatened. When provoked, elephants are known to just charge and shoo their opponents away owing to the fact that they are not very aggressive. But when they've had enough, they are capable of knocking the daylights out of a tiger using their sharp tusks, powerful trunk, or stumping on the tiger with their weight. The latter is what happened in 1904, when a tiger was captured by King Anam's hunter and was set to fight a female elephant. A fight that lasted only a few minutes, 
As you would expect, the tiger took the first shot and attacked the elephant. The elephant fought back by taking the tiger with its trunk and squeezed it in an attempt to break its bones. Luckily, the tiger set itself free and decided to attack the elephant from its left leg. The elephant was so angered that she kicked the tiger and sent him flying. The tiger landed on the foot of the wall and did not move a muscle. It was dead. And that's it for 10 animals that can kill a tiger. Truly, there are no rules in the jungle as the predator can easily be turned into prey even by the most unusual and unexpected opponent. Who among these 10 animals surprised you the most? Leave a like and let us know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, you should definitely check out our video on 10 animals that can kill a lion.